We're at the Cattle Industry Convention in Nashville, Tennessee this week. We're at the trade show at the Novartis Animal Health booth, talking with Dr. Dennis Hermish, professional services veterinarian with Novartis Animal Health. Dr. Hermish, let's talk about foot rot and lameness in beef cattle. No matter where a ranch is located, there's a good chance cattlemen are dealing with mud or ice this time of year. So how does that impact foot rot and lameness? Well, yes, this time of the year, cattle are exposed to frozen ground and mud and rocks, which cause abrasive surfaces and could cause injuries to the foot and make them more susceptible to foot rot. So what causes foot rot and what do producers need to look for? Well, actually, the bacteria that causes foot rot is present in the digestive tract of cattle. It's the same bacteria that causes liver abscesses, so it's very common. And any injury can lead to infection in the foot and swelling and decreased weight gains. How does foot rot impact the industry? Well, foot rot causes millions of dollars of loss in the cattle industry every year. Um, a study at the University of Nebraska actually showed that um, a ca single case of foot rot can cost as much as $120 and even more. And so um, it can be a very costly disease in the cattle. In fact, 75% of all lameness is shown to be caused by foot rot. Well, it seems to make good business sense then to focus on prevention rather than treatment. What can a cattleman do to prevent foot rot? Well, the good news is cattlemen can vaccinate with Fusigard uh, to prevent foot rot. In fact, this time of the year, it's a good idea to keep it in mind with bulls on breeding soundness examination because it's prior to turnout and preventing lameness in the bull can be very valuable because of the investment involved in, in buying that bull and getting it to the farm.